Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. <laughs> this is your girl Christina and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about Phase 3 Trimaster. Wow. Whew, last one, but not the least because <laughs> there's another one coming up after that. Before we get started, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Also follow me on Instagram and Facebook because I post a lot of information there. I sometimes post there first before I do my videos and please click the bell button um, to get a notification of my future videos there's gonna be lots of fun videos coming up to you you want to stay tuned for that so that is great furthermore let's get this show started ha <laughs> ha Okay, so on this video, it might be some sad news, or it might be some bad news, or happy news. However, for the overall, it's going to be a sad video. Not as sad as the first one, the second one, but it's still going to be insane being sad. Because, you know, through the whole entire pregnancy, that's what happened to me. Now, I'm going to talk about my 26th week, and which in my last video, I didn't mention at my last Week. I think I left it at 26 weeks, maybe 25th week. I didn't talk about that I actually shaved my hair. Yes, I shaved my hair. I was going through a whole lot of stress and a really, really rough, rough time. I will click down below the video, which is going to be my second video. I'm going to, and you can click on it and you can look into that. And there I talked about why I did it. But here I'm gonna retouch on that a little bit more but not so much detail because you can look into that and see more information. But the main main reason I shaved my hair was because of I wanted to change I'm gonna say my life, but I wanted to change my looks, my my roughness. When I say roughness, well I guess shaving it off, no makeup, just being blunt, just being rough like a rough look and so I wasn't going to look like that but because my life was going so rough might as well just look like that right I'm looking down a little bit and I'm trying to not to stare at my computer because I have notes there it keeps me um, in the same topic because I have a tendency to move on everywhere so just letting you know that so bear with me because of this shit my hair um, as you'll know if you've seen my other two videos, my ex-boyfriend was not there. Um, he hasn't show up at all for any appointments. Anyway, so when I shaved my hair, and around that time I was still not talking to my family, my friends. Um, still a lot of people didn't know that I was expecting. Um, so when I went to a party, they didn't expect that. And when I shaved my hair, I was so sad and just not actually i didn't want to go to the party but because of one of my family member was um was celebrating their their engagement i definitely didn't want to go because i felt like wow i'm here pregnant and i'm not even engaged yeah <laughs> i'm not even engaged i don't know you could imagine how i felt I, I can't even describe it, the pain that I was going through, but I, I felt sad. So the whole entire time I was there, I just wanted to leave. And especially not talking to the people that I love because, you know, going through a rough time, a misunderstanding of how these questions will come about. In my last phase two video, I did that and I explained certain things in there. So if you want to check out what exactly I'm talking about you can go through that and, and review those videos but yeah through that time through my 26 weeks last time I called him I said look it is best that we don't contact each other because all I want to do is rip your head off 
all I want to do is yell at you. All I want to do is punch you if I could punch you. And you stress me out. You are stressing me out. So it is best that we don't talk at all. And he actually he he did that. He didn't he didn't contact me. And through the whole entire time, but I you know when you tell someone don't do this but you actually want them to do it? Yeah. That was me. I told him not to contact me because he was stressing me out, but I actually wanted him to contact me. I was just like, well, you told me not to contact you, so that's why I didn't contact you. But I guess what I really wanted to, like, I want him to force himself to do want to contact me, to do want to know how is the baby doing, to do, to know what is going on in my area, you know, how, how big is she getting, you know, how healthy is she, are you healthy, are you eating right? You know, um, do you have a place to live? Things like that, you know. Um, do you have enough money? Do you have enough food? So no, but he never, he never, um, he never did that. So I come to a conclusion when I say that, that don't contact me. I also noted that he doesn't want this baby. He doesn't want this baby at all. And at one point of our conversation, he said that that baby may not be mine. So I said, okay, when she's born, I'll get a DNA test to see that this baby is 100% yours. Um, I guess, well, he agreed with what I just said, and, and that was the, the last, very, very last time I talked to him. Not at 26 weeks, but within, within around that time. I guess 14 weeks and 26 weeks around all of that going on. Uh, it would just best, you know, cut ties. So I feel like, I felt, when I shaved my head, I did feel a little bit better because I feel a different person. I looked at life in a different way. You know, as a person hitting bottom and losing everything, to me, everything, I was losing everything. I knew my two kids were safe. I know they have their dad, and I know their dad is there for whatever, or whenever happens to them. I know he was going to be there but with this baby I, I didn't know what to expect anymore but as long as she has me I knew we'd be fine as long as she has me I knew we'll be fine and Ivan is very very supportive he's my ex-husband he still hasn't asked me who was the father and how that happened and why did you do what you did um, he never questioned me like that he never made me feel less important he never made me feel like I was a bad mother to my kids um, he made me feel like I'm worth it and that the baby is worth it it's not the baby's fault he always tells me that it's not the baby's fault but he never says it's your fault either so and that kind of relax not relax I don't that's not the right word but he kind of made me feel that well, okay, I guess we'll be okay. We'll be okay. And there are some times that I don't think I deserve Ivan's um, hospitality. I, we went through so much together, but I would never expect this from him. All the stuff that we went through, I never expected that he would accept me. Accept me with a baby that is not his. I beat myself a lot for that, and I felt guilty for that, but I can't change what happened. So I just have to make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Alright, so tears. <laughs> anyway, so Ivan just stepped up. He stepped up a lot and he didn't have to. He didn't have to. It's not his responsibility. He stepped up when I couldn't afford my place. I was losing my job. And then my ex boyfriend left me. Yeah. Anyways. And so here I am. <laughs> Um, now for the rest of the pregnancy, I wanted to focus on this 
baby. And I just wanted to give her all my love. I didn't want to think about my ex. I didn't want to think about my ex-husband. I didn't want to think about what was going on in the world. I wanted just to focus on her because I know it's going to be a very, very rough ride. And I need to prepare mentally and physically and emotionally. Um, and make sure that my other two kids don't get left behind. Because they were here first. And that their attention also also really 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 matters and the attention was getting stronger and stronger and I can feel my kids were getting <clears throat> not so much mad but uh, worried that hey mommy I'm still here <laughs> do you remember me <laughs> that I had to be careful and then I want to make sure that the baby was uh, had her, her crib and had a, a roof in her head and a safe place and a safe environment and that was my focus. Let's continue within 31 weeks. I started to exercise because the baby was still up here. You know, her head was still up here about my well, lower of my chest. She was not turning. So I looked up on YouTubers and I looked it up and I searched for how to turn a baby <laughs> uh, at certain weeks. I think I, I questioned it and there were a few of them suggestions that you should put your feet up on the couch this is my body this is my head this is my feet and this is the couch right i'm looking up and so i'm lifting my bottom and then just sit there for a while for all the organs to move down and hopefully she'll move around like whoosh, move. i did that through the whole entire time that i could no longer do it anymore and I also did another one, which is still on the couch. Kind of like you do a push-up, but instead of putting your feet on the floor, you put your feet up on the couch. So and you don't do the push-up, so you just do a plank. And then you stay there, you hold it for a few minutes. And hopefully that will be enough for gravity to push, to make the baby move. Gravity meaning pushing all the organs around, so hopefully she'll move. I did that, nothing. Um, I also did some squatting because I know the squatting two things I know squatting will help to improve your your contractions come more and Helps to make me deliver come faster. I guess that's just say but also It was when you do those those squattings it will make the baby want to move I don't know something like that. I heard so yeah, I was doing all that and apparently it didn't work so the doctor said well she's breech and it looks like that she is not going to move anytime soon so i continue doing those exercising so at the end of my 34 weeks we were at my parents house around that time was christmas we had an awesome time at christmas thank you mom and dad for the gifts and Thank you sis for the gifts and thank you brother-in-law for the gifts and thank you to my nieces for all the beautiful gifts that we receive as a family. And yes, Ivan went there because he's part of the family. So we all celebrate Christmas together. So when we're leaving the house, I asked Ivan to set it up, my car seat. And then my dad looked at me like, why are you setting up the car seat? Don't you think it's a little too early? And I said, no, it's, n it's never too early to get ready because you never know what's going to happen. It turns out the next day, <laughs> my water didn't break, but I was having contractions. And so I asked Ivan, hey, do you mind if you can take me to the hospital? He says, why? I say, and I said, well, maybe I think this baby is ready to come on. The contractions wasn't hard, but I just knew. I had my bags. <laughs> when I said I was ready, I had my bags ready. My hospital bag ready. And of course, he didn't have a, my hospital bag ready because, as you know, I don't expect him to be there when um, I give birth. I don't know who to expect to be there. I, all, I, all I know that I expect to be there is my mom, which in this case, she wasn't. And I'll tell you that on my next video. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay, so I know this video is going to be long if I continue to tell you more. But 
now well let's just cut this video off right now um so definitely stay tuned for my next video yes i'm gonna tell you exactly what happened um who was there and who wasn't if you like this video please give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down either way it just lets me know that you sat there and watched my video which is pretty cool because you know i need lots and lots of subscribers and lots and lots of help to get this video up up going okay so comment down below let me know what you think also if you have gone through this or similar like this let me know down below too if you need any advice i'll be happy to give you some of mine it was a very emotional video it is hard to talk about it but it needs to be talked because it's it is not good to hold that in it, you will feel so much better if you let it out talk to someone and i'll be to you so let me give you a thumbs up now wear your mask when you go out because you can save people's life you can save your mom's life your grandma's life your uncle's life your daughter's life anybody's life and your life too all lives matters so black lives matters and that note goodbye i love you see you peace